Hello friends, welcome to my channel Learn with Reshu. Today I am, I am going to tell you about web servlet annotation. Why we use web servlet annotation and what is the, uh, why we need it. Okay, so uh, let's start. Uh, as 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 in my previous video, I have explained everything in Hindi, but from from now onwards, I will start explaining in English because uh, in Hindi, uh, I I am seeing like nobody is interested, nobody is seeing my videos, so I switch to English because I have I have got many comments like please, uh, ma'am, can you make a video in English? So from today onwards, I have started uh, video uh, making video in English. So let's start. So uh, you know, in my previous video, I have explained uh, like uh, if you have an index.html page or you have a form and you want to submit some information and you have some action in the form. So in action, you define generally you define the URL or the page where you want to move. So in this case, we have a URL pattern sum. And uh, as we discussed earlier as well, like uh, if we have a URL pattern, we need to have a URL mapping or a servlet mapping for that. So uh, previously we were doing the this servlet mapping in this web.xml. But wait, why we do the servlet mapping in web.xml? Why not we use it in a Java? And that's why the answer comes uh, with web, dot, uh, web, an web servlet annotation. So there is a way like we do not need to write this lengthy XML uh, web.xml file. Instead of that, we, we just add one line of code here and everything works fine. So what is web servlet? We, we can, we can uh, do this by web servlet annotation. And what is that? What is web servlet annotation? So web servlet annotation is used to define a servlet component in a web application. Okay. Annotation is specified on a class and contain meta data about the servlet being de declared. So it is like uh, if if we uh, if we define a web servlet annotation in the cl servlet class, then we do not need to define servlet mapping in the web.xml. Let's uh, let's see how it works. So uh, uh, I have. Um, I have written this web servlet mapping, uh, servlet mapping in this web web web.xml file previously. So I will do what I will do is I will comment out this, and uh, I will comment the whole servlet mapping, and uh, then one one thing I want to show you. If I comment out the whole servlet mapping, what will happen? Going to happen? So first, uh, for showing this, I will run the, my code on server and uh, show you what will going to happen. So you are seeing one page is came uh, open and then if I put, if I enter some values like for example 80 plus 6, like they are summing each other and then divided by 10. So submit and you see here, it's uh, it's came that not found exception for not four. So what did this mean? It means like they are asking for the URL pattern slash sum and there is no code. Why? Because when they asking for slash sum and there is no mapping for slash sum. So they, there is no code defined in our co, uh, in our uh, application like where to go when it comes uh, slash sum. So for this action, there is nothing defined. Not generally, Tomcat server, because I am running in Tomcat server, Tomcat server will look into the web.xml file. But in this case, he uh, Tomcat server couldn't find anything here. Why? Because we have commented out. So that's why it's throwing error like 404 not found. So it is not found. It has uh, unsuccessful uh, to finding the sum URL pattern or the servlet. Okay. Now what? How can we solve this error? So what we will do is we will go to the sum servlet and just add at web servlet and then we can write here the annotation like the annotation value. So value will be sum and then what will going to happen is
capital W. So here, uh, by this uh, syntax, by this line of code, uh, the uh, the container, the web container will find the which servlet uh, we are calling uh, for the sum action. So when the when we submit the form now, it will go to the sum action and then call call this sum servlet because servlet mapping servlet mapping is coming here for sum. Okay, so uh, for sum it is sum servlet needs to be called and same we will do for div servlet okay so we will copy the code here from here for example and for div servlet the servlet mapping url were ds okay so now we have servlet mapping for both div servlet and sum servlet now we will going to run our code on tomcat server and we'll find restart the server and when we restarted the server again the index day index page came and we enter 80 and 6 for example and submit so we found say 8 so we found some value we found some result yes why and here you can see here it goes mapping goes to the ds uh, so why because in this case when we have uh, submit the button uh, submit the query uh, in um, in the form uh, in the html form so it it calls sum and then it look into the is sum servlet and because sum servlet has the mapping sum so it uh, it does the further uh, process and process the code and then it redirected to the ds uh, and ds is mapped for div servlet and then it um, follows the code and give it give the result to us so by this way we can uh, uh, just one line of code web servlet and ser by this way we can uh, uh, remove the lengthy codes you see here how much how many lines we have written here for these two things and these two things only uh, uh, have completed only with two lines of code here so by this way we can uh, reduce the number of lines in our code normally uh, developers need, don't like web.xml file why because xml files are lengthy and it's complicated to maintain sometimes so somebody likes it but somebody don't like it there are many who don't like this and there are many who like it also anyhow it's not compulsory like it's not like that if you uh, if you have this web servlet annotation you you can just remove that web.xml file no uh, still web.xml file will be needed uh, for some kind of like providing the list of welcome pages like here providing the error pages like filters order other things uh, that can only be done in, done in de deployment descriptor okay so uh, that's why we we still need it but uh, most of the work we can done by we can complete by uh, annotations as well so i hope you understand this video and um, I hope the concept you understand and uh, uh, I, in the next section I will start why we use JSP, how can we use JSP and I will start a, a series on JSP. So uh, hope you like my videos and if you want uh, uh, my code like how, uh, how uh, if you want to my what if you want my code you can visit my web website like uh, i have uh, i have one more website where i uh, where i i post every every week some blogs and those blogs contain my codes regarding my videos so if you want to know uh, um, about my codes and like if you want to copy and try to uh, try these codes in your own laptop or or your own system so just visit my website i will put the link of my website in the comment description box so that you can uh, 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 see it easily okay and uh, it calls ratio all in one dot blogspot.com so if you want to visit it just click on the link and you will find my all blogs there so i hope you understand all the things and please like share and comment my videos and yeah do subscribe don't forget to subscribe here okay bye bye